In today's technical corner, we have the pleasure of reviewing a brand new innovation from Kenner Metal. I have the pleasure to be joined by Michael remotely from Germany near Nuremberg. Welcome, Michael. Welcome, Giovanni. Thank you for letting me speak about Ebor. It is a pleasure to be with you today. Now, Ebor, it's so exciting, uh, Michael. It brings back memories from when I used to actually manufacture boring tools. Now, Ebor, digital fine boring and roofing solutions. Can you explain to our audience um, what it is? How, what, how does it work? All right. So we have different type of fine boring tools. I just hold up um, one example of this. You see here the old style, which is a mechanical rotary scale. You can adjust it mechanically, but it's digital ready. So that means you have here an attachment for a digital display. But this is not the real only portion of digital. There's inside a measuring system to measure exactly the radial position of whatever you mount. If it is a boring bar, if it is a bridge, you can always see on a digital display, which is just clicked on mechanically. And then you see after one click to the start bottom, what is the dimension? and how much I did adjust. What you see is what you get. You never need to count lines again. You cannot forget because the tool remembers your dimension. That's the difference. For our audience, Michael, can you explain when adjusting or how adjusting it transfers that information to the digital readout? Right. The measuring system is within each type of tools. If it's a small universal tool as we have it in front of us or if it is a very big bridge tool like we see it here behind us there's a cartridge mounted on which also you have this digital display the display just displays all right there's a measurement done inside of each tool or the cartridge which we just saw behind and this dimension is stored um, inside of the tools again eBoard does not forget your dimension. And that's also the beauty of this um, system. Not having a display incorporated, it can be absolutely hermetic closed. And that's why it's robust at the same time when it is very, very precise. So the eBoard range, it's revolutionary and it's a complete range. It's very, very modular. So the actual digital readout could be used on multiple um, tools exactly again starting with this um universal fine boring tool so it can go together with a boring bar starting off at six millimeter diameters then you have a chance to mount the extension for intermediate diameters and finally the bridge for bigger diameter furthermore we can refer to a little overview which I provided here. Um, you can see here the boring tool, which is more dedicated to a smaller range of diameters. And always you have different tools for different diameter ranges. And this is for customers and application which have much more volume. And of course, on the right hand side, we see the bridge similar to the one which we have behind myself. Now, and the diameter could... range is going up to one meter and 20 millimeters. Wow, Michael. Now, that is a large range, and I see a very big boring tool behind you, um, which maybe we can touch on that shortly. Um, with, with boring and adjustment, do you get backlash? Absolutely. All kind of mechanical system, they need to have some air to move. If a boring tool would have no backlash, it would just be blocked. So no movement would be possible. So that means, in fact, we do have air, we do have backlash. In a classical way, with a mechanical scale, you always have to take care of to move a little bit back. Then you think, okay, I was moving 20 lines back or 0 0.3, 0 0.5 millimeter, whatever. I have to move um, up the same again and then plus or minus what I want to adjust. Not in the digital times. If you have the digital display mounted, like here, 
you see exactly what the boring bar as an example and with the boring bar the cutting edge is moving in and out what you see is what you get in case you have to go to smaller dimension you will have a backlash but it does not influence and does not put error uh, chances on top because the display always shows the real position of the insert and so you have no chance to make any mistake that's why it's also robust in this aspect so michael it's effectively simplified what was quite a complex process and potentially eradicated any errors absolutely and imagine you adjust and you need to adjust in former times 20 microns plus so you just three four five six seven hey michael what time is it somebody's asking you and you, uh, how much i adjusted three four i have to adjust 10. no problem if you have the digital display because it shows you always where you have been and where you want to be so even if you make a coffee break and come back you still can go ahead with adjusting that's the beauty I mean, that was very well explained and, and I'm sure if, we've, if you've worked on the shop floor, you will definitely associate, that, uh, that, that associate with that explanation. Now, Michael, in regards to the, diff the, the portfolio, you can do um, external diameters, internal diameters, finishing and roughing. Can you um, tell, our, t tell our audience uh, about the complete range? All right the fine boring tools we the universal fine boring tool we saw already the fine boring tools the universal sorry the universal fine boring tool we saw already we saw already on uh, screen the boring tool which is also for similar ranges not that small and for the biggest ranges up to more than one meter we have the bridge solution this is on a fine boring side on a roughing side we're starting off with 20 millimeter diameter. And here we see a very little tool in front of the big one, this little tiny shiny thing. This is a 20 millimeter twin cutter, as we say. We have C effective two. So we're running with two cutting edges at a time with double productivity in comparison to just one cutting edge. And if we go through the, or coming over the medium range with a KM back end, we end up with a bridge um, tools with a shell melt adapter which have a diameter range of 200 millimeter up to over one meter, where we can rough um, bore each kind of application due to the flexibility of our inserts. Now, Michael, you know, why would you use a, a, a boring bar for a roughing operation? Why wouldn't you circle, in ta circle interpolate that bore? That is very easy. From historic times, and C programming and and C controls are often not very um, good in running on circles. In the end of the day, the path will be like a flower, like a four leaf flower. So a perfect roundness will be not there. One second, you have a very good positioning tolerance if you fine bore or if you rough bore. With the rough boring system, you have a very good positioning. And what makes a very good positioning? It leaves a constant stock all over the circle from zero to zero and 60 degree, which is the best circumstance for finish boring. So surface finish, accuracy, um, you know, it, it covers all elements of the process. Can you um, give our audience some uh, examples of applications, please? Absolutely. So if you imagine um, in a small diameter, you have a compressor pump of your refrigerator, which you have in the house. There are also crankshafts inside, there are piston boards inside. But the same you can have on a diesel engine or you can have on a ship engine. The dimensions are bigger. That's why our range is that big. Or think about any kind of gearbox. This is on an electric car, is it is, if it is on a windmill or if it is on a refrigerator, as I said before, or any kind of mechanic system where a bearing have to seat inside. In, in, in this digital world that we're living in, Michael, I mean, this is really coming to, to the forefront. Um, and, and with this technological advancement from Kenner Metal, is this a game changer? Absolutely. 
because today we are going into the direction of zero errors and a digital display and the digital eboar system is really a game changer in this aspect because as i mentioned before if you adjust with a mechanical way there are so many chances to make mistakes with a digital display and with a digital measuring system overall with a digital boring system you have nearly no chance to make any mistake anymore so scrap rates will go dramatically down and it's just easy michael it's been an absolute pleasure to review the latest innovation from Kenner Metal in this latest technical corner and I'm sure that this solution will benefit many engineers around the world. If you want to find out more about the latest solution for fine boring and roughing, contact Kenner Metal.